Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to theme your iPod in the 4.0 firmware or higher. I'm not sure if this works on anything below 4.0, but hopefully you have 4.0. Um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need to have Cydia, and in order to have Cydia you have to have a jailbroken iPod. Um, you need to know how to SSH. If you don't know how to SSH, I have a video tutorial up, which I'll put in the description below. You're going to need something like Adobe Photoshop. If you have it, great. If you don't, just anything that will edit um, pixel sizes. I don't know, try GIMP or GIMP. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But you need something like Photoshop. Alright, now in order to select the theme that you're about to make, you're going to need an application called Winterboard. Um, Winterboard just lets you select themes. See, I have all this stuff, but we'll get back to that later. In order to get Winterboard, go ahead and go into Cydia. This is going to take a while. Go to search and type in winter board. There it is. Um, you're going to want to install this. I already have it installed, but on the top right, instead of modify, it's going to say install. Hit install and then hit confirm. And then it's going to probably tell you to restart Springboard. And then once you do that, you should have Winterboard on your iPod. So once you got Winterboard on your iPhone, we're going to go ahead and make a folder. You can name this folder anything, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to name it my underscore theme. The underscore is just there for looks. Anyway, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and go into Photoshop or whatever you may have. Go to File, New. Now we're going to make the wallpaper. The wallpaper has to be 320 pixels on the width and 400 pi 480 pixels on the height. Go ahead and make that. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make something very easy. Just real quick. Alright, once you have your image made, you're going to want to go ahead and go to File, Save As. You're going to want to save this as a PNG. Now you want to name this Wallpaper. I think that W in Wallpaper has to be capital capitalize. So we're just going to name it wallpaper. Make sure the format is set to PNG. Now locate your folder that you had made earlier. In my case it's my theme. And go ahead and save that. A box should pop up. If you're using Photoshop just hit OK. And there you go. That's your wallpaper. Alright, so once you're done making the wallpaper, the next thing we're going to make is something called the lock background. Now what the lock background is, is basically the background of the unlock screen. Um, I'll show you right here. It's just this screen right here. There you go. So. The lock background is the same dimensions as the wallpaper, which is 320 by 480. 
For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the same file, but I'm just going to name it something different. So let me go ahead and change some stuff here. Once you're done with that, you want to go to File, Save As, make sure the format is PNG, and you're going to want to name this lock background. I'm sorry, the format is supposed to be JPEG. I'm not sure if it works with PNG, but just to be on the safe side, let's make it JPEG. Lock background dot JPEG. Go ahead and save that. A box should pop up. Um, you want the quality to max. Hit OK. And there is your lock background. Alright, so once you have your wallpaper and your lock background made, we're going to need a dock. Now to make a dock, just go to File, New. The width is still the same, 320, but the height is going to be 91. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to design this one at all. I like it transparent, but you could still design it with whatever you want. I mean you can mess with it but I like it um, transparent that's just my personal preference so I'm gonna leave it transparent so once you figured out what you're gonna do with the dock go ahead and go to file save as you're gonna wanna change the format to PNG and you're gonna want to name this dock with the capital D hit save. Alright, so once you have all of those made and saved, what you want to do is you want to go into your My Theme folder, or whatever you named it, and we're going to have to SSH right now. So I'm using WinSCP for Mac users, it's going to be different. I'm going to log in real quick. Alright, once you get to the screen, we're going to have to click these two dots right here which bring us up the directory keep on doing that until you can't go up anymore now we're in the root directory so what you want to do now you want to go to library and then themes everyone see that alright now what you want to do with your themes folder or your my theme folder is you want to drag it into the theme folder in your SSH. Then hit copy. And then it's going to drag the entire folder into your iPhone. So once you're done copying my theme over into your theme folder, you're going to want to go into winter board. Go to select themes. and then find the name of your theme. In my case it's my underscore theme. Then you're going to want to press winterboard on the top left and then respring again on the top left. And then it's going to restart the springboard. And then there you go. As you can see this is the lock screen. and the wallpapers there. There's the wallpaper. Show you a better view of it. And as you can see the dock on the bottom is transparent. Just the way I like it. And yeah those are the basics of how to make a theme. I mean you could get real fancy with it. I just had to make some crap in Photoshop real quick just for the sake of this tutorial. But yeah.